how to crochet a pico edge flower. You can use these flowers on slippers, hats, cowls, and scarves, or in the hair. Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanooka 1. If you find the videos too fast, you can click on the gear icon below the video to slow them down. Please subscribe and please click on the notification bell to receive an email when I post a new video. To make this flower, I'm going to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to chain 30. So to make a chain, you just pick up the yarn and pull it through. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 30. Okay, I have chained 30. I'm going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. To make a single crochet, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through both loops on the hook, and go all the way across the chain, making one single crochet in each stitch. Okay, I worked a single crochet in each stitch across the row. At the end of the row, turn the work. Now chain two, and that will take the place of the first double crochet. Now double crochet in the same stitch. So to double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. And now I'm going to make this little pico. So to do that, chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch into the top of that double crochet and that will make a little pico, and then one more double crochet in that same stitch. So that chain two is the equivalent of the first double crochet, and then another double crochet, a pico, and another double crochet. So you're going to do that in each stitch across the row. So double crochet, double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the top of the double crochet, and another double crochet in that same stitch. So in each stitch you'll have a three double crochet cluster with a pico in the center. So I'll do one more, double crochet, double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the top of the last double crochet and make one more double crochet. And you'll repeat that all the way across the row and this is what it will look like. And then I fastened off with a long yarn end. Thread the yarn end into a needle and now I'm going to start at the other end and form one circle like that. And tuck that yarn end down inside. And now I'm just going to continue to roll this up into a spiral like that. Now I can turn it over and then with the needle I'm just going to go ahead and sew all the way around connecting all of these layers so that it's one solid piece. like that, and then I can tie these two yarn ends together in a knot. And then I can just sew a button in the center. And that's how easy it is to make this sweet little crochet flower. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.